that I had no idea that before Al Michaels came over to NBC, the idea that Dick Ebersol, the grand poobah of NBC Sports for so many years, was to have you and Madden in the booth together calling the game together, and you actually did an audition to make it – or, or just, a, just a, a tryout just to see – because you were already there with NBC – but just to see, you know, what's what? What was that like? You and Madden in a booth together calling a game, you know, in quotes. Chris, <laughs> what was that like? I, they flew us out, like the entire NBC Sports Department. So John Madden has that studio. You've probably been out there in Pleasanton or Pleasantville or whatever. Pleasanton, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, and – um, so they flew us on like a 747, picked me up in Cincinnati <laughs> – flew everybody out there this plane had two bedrooms on it i was like what the heck so we go out and we sit in the studio and and we're just going to call a playoff game that's happening it was denver and somebody um and the theory was that they were going to have me do play-by-play and John do color, but really not really do play by play, just kind of both of us, you know, talk about the game. And so we did it. Um, and it, honestly, I, I, I was terrible. I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you when you, you know, I was just like, I knew, I'm sure other people knew, whatever. So we get finished afterwards. And, and uh, so I'm sitting there with Dick, and he goes, oh, you know, I think that went really well. And I went, okay. And uh, he goes, I want you to know that the job is yours if you want it. If you want to do play-by-play with John, the job is yours. So there's a big pregnant pause there. And then he comes back, and he goes, or I think I have a chance to get Al Michael. And I just started laughing out loud. I can remember it like it was just, I said, are you crazy? You get a chance to go, go get Al Michaels. Are you not? I go, come on, Dick. That's the biggest no brainer of a choice I've ever heard in my whole life. But I do like to tell uh, Mike and Al both, but that neither one of them would have had a job, but for me. (laughs) Well, but uh, again, uh, obviously I know it's your job to, to watch everything except the ball. Right. So now here you are in a position calling a game that you're supposed to watch the ball, but, uh, but what, what was it like, you know, it had to be out of body, just sitting there calling a game with Madden, right. Just sitting there. It was awesome. Right. Yeah, no, it was great fun. We were having a good time. And, if I had it to do over again, I probably wouldn't do any play-by-play. Right. Right? I would just sit there and – Like the Manning cast, the right? Like the Manning cast yeah, does right like now, Yeah, like the right? Manning cast, exactly. Like, okay, you you, you got to figure out who has the ball. Or maybe I would at least just tell who caught the ball or something like that. Um, but it's really intriguing to be sitting next to that man. You know, there are so many different things that he's done in his lifetime, and – just the fact that I got to do that, mm-hmm. right, was so cool for me. I, I, I just I, do. I think it would have evolved into something that could have been fun. Yeah, I think I think we would have survived the day. But come on, Al Michaels and John Madden versus <laughs> Chris Collinsworth doing play by play with John Madden. That was that was a no brainer there. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 